Hi guys, I'm back. It's uh, Sunday and it's about, I don't even know what time it is. I think somewhere like one o'clock or so because uh, we are um, back on daylight savings. So the clock is put an hour in front and um, we're ahead, sorry. And um, so here I am ready to do three videos that I promised you guys. And first off, I would really like to show you the one that I did yesterday, the one that's already sold. Uh, this is how it turned out. And as you can see, it is totally dry and exactly the same pretty pattern that I had yesterday. It's uh, nothing's changed and it's just uh, really pretty. If you look over it, you can see a little bit of the silicone, which I will remove before I'm going to varnish it. The new owner requested a, a shiny, glossy varnish, so I'm going to be doing that later. And the other one that I sold, that's this one. Uh, it's already varnished, so it's nice and glossy, and it's ready to go to its new home. I'll be um, sending the new owner a couple of pictures in a minute after I do this video. So that one's going to leave. And then I have a little problem because someone wanted this, this one. I was going to make a clock out of it, but that person said, no, I just want it like that to hang on the wall. But please, if you see this, <laughs> please email me at riddehoffart at zigo.nl because I can't find you. You didn't email me. I think it... Oh, okay, doesn't matter. That was uh, one of my daylight lamps that just fell to the floor for the third time today. I'm pretty much done with it. Um, so if you see this, please uh, let me know and uh, I can get uh, your uh, address information and uh, I can send it to you. Okay, yeah. Then another one, let me pull uh, the plug because otherwise the li that light will be shining on the floor and I don't think that's a good idea. So the other one I did yesterday that's this one with that really cute part in the middle here. It's um, eh, I don't dare really touch it too much because I still see a little bit in the middle it's still wet, so I'm going to um, just let it dry another day before I turn it over. Whoops, let's do it like this. And I'm going to do the uh, other side too. A couple of people said, you know, have you ever done a double pour on a record? And I was thinking, hey, that's a good idea. Why not do that? So I'm going to let this dry another two days and then do a pour on the, on the other side. And then I'm going to make it into a bowl. Uh, I think the same, the same shape as I did the, uh, the other bowl, that'd be good. I think like this, that would be nice. Isn't that cute how that, how that forms and it doesn't let go again. That is so um, awesome to me that it just stays exactly like you uh, get it out of the oven. So that's uh, the shape I'm going to be pouring or melting this one into also. Okay, then I have to thank all my uh, sponsors, these guys, because they made it possible that I make all these videos and that I've got all these paints lined up. There's a lot of paints. I have many, many, many colors. I don't know if you can see them all. Yeah, I guess so. So that and a white, full cup of white. So that's a lot of color for today and I'm going to be using all of this. Uh, the thing is that people have been asking and wanting to do the swipe method. And I've shown you um, just a little bit of how I swipe, but I'm talking like really a little bit. It was the one where I did the um, fluid acrylics and I showed you the swipe, but it was an uncontrolled swipe, you know, just a little here and a little swipe there. And I'm... I'm starting to realize that what you guys really want to see is a swipe up and down. 
that was one of the requests I got, but I didn't understand that totally. So if you're watching, sorry, but you're going to see that today because I tried that yesterday and that's what you get. That is a total swipe. And that is pretty. But for me, it's not, you know, something that I would want a whole painting to look like because it's just, I don't know, it, it, it's, it's not interesting. Your eyes don't go all over the place like with the other ones. I'll show in comparison. If you see this, your eyes automatic, automatically go to this bit because that is beautiful. And then here, because these are beautiful cells. And then you think, okay, I like this part and I like that and I like that. And your eyes are just pulled to all directions of this uh, 20 by 20 painting. But when I see this, the only thing that I really see or I'm thinking, okay, that is a beautiful lace pattern. That's true. That's beautiful. And underneath there's a lot of color going on because that's turquoise and green and orange and a little speck of yellow. So that is, that is pretty. But other, th other than that, that's it. You know, my eyes don't go all over the place because there's nothing to look at. This is just a bunch of lacing. That is just some lacing turning to white. So it's not that appealing as something like this is. But if you can incorporate this, this bit, into a painting, well, then you have something interesting. So could you imagine that you have something like this and then the lacing part with the colors underneath somewhere here, like along the side, that would be beautiful. So that's something that I'd uh, really like to look at. So today I am going to show you guys what you have to do to get a good swipe. So what I did is all the colors I just showed you, all I have in there is uh, paint, water and uh, painting medium. And of course, this is the painting medium, Liquitex pouring medium. This is the one that I put in all colors and always between 20 to 30 percent. And that's the good thing about this stuff. You don't have to put it in a measuring uh, uh, spoon or anything. You don't have to weigh it. Just look at your paint and put in 20 to 30 percent. If you by accident go to 35 or 40, still nothing's going to happen. It's okay. But for the art I'm making, I find that between 20 and 30 is okay and it works. And why would I put in more? Because this stuff is very expensive. It's um, for me, it's like 30 euros a liter. And that's a lot of money because I pay like 16 euros for a liter of paint. So this is double. So 20 to 30% is okay. If you by accident put in a little bit more, who cares? It'll work. Um, a lot of people are um, asking, you know, still asking me about the uh, mixing. And I can tell you, all you have to do is put the paint in the cup, add 20 to 30% pouring medium. And first you stir that until it is, is as smooth as silk. You just make it really nice and smooth. And I would uh, suggest that you put on your favorite TV show. While I was mixing all these colors, I was watching Judge Judy, as usual. <laughs> I just love her. Isn't she just, you know, she's so small, but she is so in charge. In judgment for the plaintiff. Goodbye. That's what she says. Goodbye. Then she just doesn't want to hear one, one word. And today she did one about a mattress. <laughs> And two guys were fighting over a mattress. And, oh boy, she really tells them uh, how it is. That's so funny. I love it. But, okay, back to the painting. Um, what you uh, want to do is get your favorite TV show and make this into something very enjoyable because I mixed these paints. It took me one and a half hours to mix. And I enjoyed every single second of it. I really do, because there's something calming about seeing the paint and looking at it on the stick and then seeing it, you know, just stream 
down into the cup. That is totally relaxing. And please make this part of your art ritual that you enjoy your stirring and mixing of the paint and maybe even mixing some other colors when you, you know, combine a few colors together. If you do that, you'll always have a painting that no one other has because you're using your own colors. So if anyone wants to see these colors, you just Google uh, a color chart from Amsterdam Acrylics. It's the standard series. If you pop that in Google, color chart Amsterdam Acrylics standard series, and you will get the whole range of colors they have. And it's not too difficult to pick out the colors I'm using. So the other, the other bit of information that I want to share is, um, oh, every, everything's sticky. I have to do a major cleanup today again. The other one I want to mention is the uh, Facebook group that we have that's Acrylic Pouring Basics. You search for it in Facebook. And please, if you are going to start this hobby and you want to really get into it, please just come over and join our club because we have the, a group of amazing artists and they are kind and they're helpful. And even if you don't need help, come and join because you can post your uh, art and people will comment on it and give you thumbs up and make you feel good. And it's just a pleasure to join this, this group. So please do that. <coughs> Okay, now we're going to go to the swipe. So I'll put this aside for the next one. And what I'd like to do is um, start off with just a few colors, not too many, because we don't want to overdo it. But I will be uh, using all this paint that I've made today. So you've got a lot of videos coming up. And uh, don't think it's uh, because uh, you guys asked for it, because I love this stuff. I just love using different ingredients and uh, watching what it does to the paint. So another one I'll be doing today is the Flutrol, because I uh, promised you guys that. And another one is something with uh, a sort of a vegetable oil. Someone asked me yesterday, can you please put some oil in the paint and so let me see what that does. So we're going to be doing that. So what I um, am going to show you is um, uh, not one or two, but a couple of things that you can do with swiping. So uh, I know a lot of uh, people out there are getting into photography, making these uh, little pores and then um, making pictures and doing the macro photography. And a, a really cool thing is if you have a, a reasonable good camera, you can um, Put those pictures up on like Curios or Society6 and then you can have them use your image as um, the background in a clock or stationery or a bath mat or a shower curtain or a t-shirt. And if you get the, your pictures large enough, because sometimes you really need large, large um, data, so if you get it large enough, they even put it on leggings. And I've seen leggings of my pictures that totally blew me away. And they're not even that expensive. They're $34 and you're wearing something that no one has. It's so cool, really. Maybe I should show you guys some, uh, maybe next time when I'm filming with my camera, I'll get my iPad and show you some examples. But if you're curious, look under this video, because under this video in the description is the links to my Curios account and my Society6 account. And if you're looking for the leggings, you got to be at Society6. Okay, I thought we would start with white, because I'm going to be swiping with white. Not because it has to be, but because it's better to see... Um, see it if you do white over colors so that's the white and like i said there's no silicone in there and i'm going to do my first swipe without the silicone so um, i'll get a little piece of paper oh there it is what i'm swiping on is um yupo because yupo doesn't warp 
And if you're wondering what it is, please put it in Google. Google Yupo paper and you will get all the information you need. So this is Yupo. I used the thick kind. It's pretty thick. It's uh, 238 grams. I use it because um, different, different things. Um, first, it doesn't warp. Second, I can torch it. Third, it just stays as straight as, as can be and I can use it for everything. If you do a big swipe on this, you could even use it to put on one of those wooden boxes. And um, if you totally don't like it, you can just run it under the tap, the water, and it'll just wash right off and you can use it again. Because it doesn't take up water, but it, acrylic sticks to it like, you know, like glue. You, you can't get it off. You will be needing something that looks like this. That's a pellet knife. And what you're looking for is that diagonal bit because it makes sure that your fingers don't touch the canvas when you're swiping. But also what it does, you can sort of put it flat on the table, lift it up a little bit and just move your fingers over the table because with swiping it's very important that you have um, a smooth motion and smoothly pull the paint over each other. So before I talk too much, I will show you what you can do. First off, some people do this. They just do a straight line. Then another straight line. I gotta make sure I don't contaminate the paint because I don't want the colors running together, not right now. Just a couple of straight lines like that. And then my favorite color, turquoise green. That's it. But you have to imagine that you fill your page or your um, sheet or canvas or whatever you're gonna do, you have to fill it right up. Then what you do is you put a big piece of white on there. And as you can see, that's a lot more than the stripes of color because you want to pull that over your colors. So we have white, we have a couple of stripes of color, and then you take your knife, put it on there, and slowly pull it over. That's it. See what's left on the uh, palette knife? It doesn't matter. But this is swiping. You can see straight through the white. You see that it's a bit thicker here and then it goes very gradually goes over the colors. Now if there was silicone in here, I'd already have a cells popping, I'm pretty sure, but we'll see that in a minute. But just to show you the difference between paint with silicone and paint without, I could be torching this for an hour and I can tell you, nothing is going to happen. Nothing. So, no torching. Doesn't do a thing. Then, why I'm doing this is because people also ask me, can you spray silicone on top? So that's what I'm going to do. If I can find my silicone. Oh, here it is. Okay, now I'm going to spray the silicone on top of here. It's on there. Just a little bit more, Whoop. not too much. And what you can see, I'll put it up close. See the, um, I'll, I'm putting the light on it by on purpose. So you can see all the little silicone spritz. It's giving the dents in the, uh, in the white paint. And now I'm gonna be torching it. And it does totally nothing. So what the silicone does when you spray it on top is only creates these pin-sized little holes. That's what the silicone does when you put it on top. But now, because, see here's silicone too. Now I'm going to be putting it on here. And now I'm going to swipe back. and hoping that there's some silicone left. And 
then you can see that where the silicone was pushed into the paint you get cells so if you like the swipe technique but you don't want that many cells don't put the silicone in your paint spray it on top and, and after you have swiped up you swipe down and then you get these pretty little cells now I'm gonna do something different I'm going to spray silicone on my palette knife but I'm gonna do it not here because it, I might contaminate my paint okay so there's silicone on the palette yep and then we're gonna do this again that's it oops I put my finger in it but that doesn't matter it's just an experiment but did you see the motion I did it with? You have to do it with some, not too slow. You, you should do it with a nice smooth motion. And now we're gonna be torching again. I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see what I'm doing. And there it goes. That's it. And right now, you can see that there's a lot more cell action. See, here's all the cells. And here, you, you, it's a little hard to see because it's a lot of white, but there's a lot of cells up here too. So that is, um, that is one way to swipe. If you're doing macro photography, what I would do is I'd put this under my camera. I would take a picture of this. And I'm going to try to get up close and in focus. Why I do that is because these little cells are one color in the middle and then a different color around. And I like that. Then I move it over and I would do this bit. Because this, this is very pretty. It has some sort of a very light lacing effect going on on top. And I would make a picture of that. And then I do this bit because I like this. Only I do this one a little bit bigger. So with one swipe, you get like four, maybe even five pictures that would look really awesome. And you can put them on Curios and Society6. And, you know, you decide where you want to, to put them on. Shower curtains, t-shirts, stationery, uh, some cool iPad iPhone uh, case you know the possibilities are endless okay now we're going to go back to the other one where I need my silicone I'm not sure if I yeah I probably is this the one I'm not sure okay so I'll put in a couple of drops of silicone in the white give it a little mix that's it then I'd like two or three colors that's uh, more than enough you know I'd like some brown because maybe that pops up better on screen so a little bit of brown a little bit of silicone Just stirring it in and I'm doing it a bit too fast but that's just you know for sake of this video <coughs> then I'd really like the yellow and the brown that 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 is pretty so a little bit of silicone come on that's it the bottle is almost empty I don't want too much because it's just an experiment so we have uh, white for the top and we have yellow and brown. Let's put a little bit of orange in there. Just a little bit. That's it. A little mixing. And we're ready to go. Gotta wipe this off.
got to make it nice and clean. Don't want double contamination of the colors. Okay, that's good enough. So, we're doing the same thing, but now the paint has silicone. But I'd like to give you guys an idea of what you can do. So, this is what I do with macros. I just put it, the colors ran, randomly on the uh, canvas or paper or whatever you're using. And what you could do, you could even swipe this first. That is cool. Like that. And then we're coming in with the white. And as you remember, you need some more white than the colors because you're swiping over it. I won't swipe this first, but you could make this, you know, really um, smooth and make it all go into each other and then put the white on top. There you go. See how those cells are already coming up? Not many, but enough. Look at that. See the difference? That is what the silicone does. So, if you're not ready to swipe yet, I'm sure you still have, um, well, a sort of a, a learning curve with uh, mixing the paint. So, this is what silicone does. It just makes the cells by putting it in the paint and heating it to come to the surface and push away some colors of paint. Now, you can even see here, which isn't torched, but there are cells. And here on, the, on, the, on my desk, there's uh, a lot of cells. Let's see if you can get that in focus. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so now, just one more swipe I want to do. I want to swipe right through it. Because you're probably wondering, what if I don't like it and I want to swipe again, right? Well, then we swipe again, swipe it up, swipe it down. See the cells popping? A lot of cells are popping. Now we're going to be torching. And there it goes again. And to tell you the truth, when I do macros, sometimes I will swipe like, well, I think about six, six, five to six times. And then you got to stop because then it turns all to mud and all the colors get pushed together. But if you like this, see where the, the brown's popping through the orange? That's pretty awesome, isn't it? So just imagine what you could do with this. Because sometimes people need a little help in um, imagining what you can do with stuff. What you can do is, if you have a whole sheet, you could make like bookmarks. You could make jewelry. Because I've been doing that a couple of times. If you have um, like a really pretty piece here, you could cut it out and make it into some sort of a pendant or earrings or whatever you want. Even the here up, to, up, up on top where the brown is, I would cut an oval out of this, like that. That would be very pretty. And if I were making pictures, I'd certainly make a picture of this. Hope it's in focus. I'm going to take you guys down. I'm going to give you close-ups. Zip. That's it. Uh-oh. Sorry, my got sticky tape on my mouth. Okay. First that one. And that's what I was talking about, that brown. Uh, oops, let's see. Up here, that. Could you imagine having an oval cut out of this as a, as a brooch or as a pendant or as earrings? That would look so pretty. And then this one, just as pretty. 
but you, sometimes you have, it, have to give it um, two or three minutes and then it just you know the colors come up 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 and the paint you know because it, it's the white paint that's dense so it does something to the uh, the colors underneath but that's pretty look even cells in my paint on my plastic so that's the swiping that is swiping with silicone and swiping without it and if you ask me you need the silicone because it just makes everything just that little bit more interesting so i'm going to put this one on because a lot of people are waking up i think in about a half an hour and i always like the idea that you guys drink coffee with me while watching my videos i can't help it i think that is the just you know i just think wow that is so cute I love it. So I'm going to put this on YouTube real fast and see you in the next video. Get your paints together today, people. It's Sunday. Make some beautiful art. Bye-bye.